Hey friends, it's Annie from Annie Gurumi again, and I wanted to share with you the latest yarn that I've been using from our friends at Hobium. I wanted to say a big thank you to Hobium for sending me this yarn. I was asking, I was asking them what they recommend if I were to say make a jumper or a scarf for warmer, I'm sorry, <laughs> not warmer, sorry, to keep warm is what I meant to say. and. So they recommended this yarn to me, which is their new La Mia Retweed yarn. Um, it's a really beautiful yarn. I have a soft spot for speckled yarns. And so you can see here in this colorway, you can see these little like specks of colors that are going on in here. And I picked this color because the person I'm making it for, who is my son's friend, just recently moved from Hong Kong to Canada and soon it will be cold there so I thought it would be really nice if I were to make her something and I'm kind of right now making a scarf that I plan to put a hood on it so it'd be like a you put on the hood and then you wrap it around your neck anyway <clears throat> back to this yarn this yarn is pretty generous it is 100 grams and 185 meters long uh the the fiber content is polyester acrylic and wool so it's pretty it should be warm because it's 40 percent wool and acrylic can be warm as well so that you have a fiber content of like 60 percent where it's made of warm materials and this is a category four if you're knitting, they recommend a five, a size five. And if you're crocheting, they recommend a 5.5 millimeter. And <clears throat> some of you who are designing and making garments who are uber talented, um, you'll find it helpful to have the gauge over here, which is, you know, 10 by 10 centimeters. And, you know, all the information is on here as well as the washing instructions as well. But I just, I just really love this colorway. It is a beautiful gray, beautiful light gray. They also have a blue colorway, which I think my son would really, really love. So I ended up getting five balls of this. So, you know, there are four balls right here, but I already started on this, which I would love to show you. And I know it's a little bit crazy. If you know who I am, if we're friends, <laughs> um, you know, I love to crochet. However, um, Whenever I make garments and things like that, I tend to lean towards knitting. And so I was playing around with it and I did the, is this called the seed stitch or the moss stitch? But either way, I've written down what I've done. And if anybody is interested, I can definitely write out the pattern once I figure out how I'm going to make this. But um, yeah, I just um, used, instead of a five, millimeter that they recommended I ended up using a 6.5 millimeter needle knitting needle because I like it to be a little bit looser I don't like it so tight and I just thought I think it looks very nice can you see here so basically what I've done is alternate I, I cast on an odd number so in this case I cast on 21 and then I did knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, all the way to the end. And the last one is um, is knit. And then when I do the next row, I slip stitch knit wise. So you're just inserting it like as if you're going to knit and just take it off the needle and then carry on with your knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. So the next stitch would be purl. And then if you alternate that, like if you do that every every row so that your knits, if you see that it's a knit, then you purl that. If you see a purl, then you knit that. It's, it's, it sounds way more complicated than it actually is. I will definitely write it out, but yeah. It comes out with this lovely kind of like bumpy, I bet this is called seed stitch because it's bumpy, but yeah, it looks, I like the texture of it and it's not too thick. So if you wrap it around a few times, you can keep warm without it being too bulky. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like this, um, this is not called a pattern, this is called a stitch. Do you like this stitch? 
I'm, I'm a fan. I really like it. I've never made anything with seed stitch before and I'm very, very excited. So I'm going to make a very, very, very long scarf. And then somewhere in the middle of it right here, I'm going to um, somehow make a hood. So luckily, uh, my son's friend and my son are uh, not exactly the same size, but at least I have an, a, a reference with my son. My son is a bit, maybe like half a head taller than her. So I'll just make it around his size so that it can grow, she can grow into it more too. And I just thought it would be like a nice little gift for her. And the Christmas season is coming up and her birthday is also coming up too. So I thought it would be a nice gift. But I love the way these little flecks of colors are showing up on here. And yeah, I think this would make a very nice jumper. If I feel adventurous enough, I might try to knit myself or my son a jumper maybe using different colors but for right now I'm having a lot of fun just kind of doing this so I would love to hear your suggestions or actually if you've tried this yarn please let me know in the comment box below and if you end up trying this yarn please let me know it is a little fuzzy can you tell yeah you can tell when I when I'm very very close it's very fuzzy and I just love that it has I don't know if you can see here but they have like it's not just pure gray there's like dark gray and like little little the flex are just so pretty I really really like it I think I would have loved it even more if there were even more flex of color but I can see that but you know, in my head that sounds good, but I'm sure if it was, they've tested it and things and it probably looked crazy with too many flux of um, colors. But anyway, I'm very happy with this and it's very relaxing actually. And um, I don't, I was wondering also, because I know a lot of people, there are two different ways to knit. So I'm very curious which way you knit. I don't, I don't know the names of them to be honest. So I know some people will knit where it's on the right, the, the working yarn is on the right. And so they'll knit like this and wrap it around and go like this. And then for purl, they'll wrap it around the front and then insert, wrap it around again and go through. But actually the way I knit, I hold the yarn. Oh, I guess I should have put the yarn ball on this side, but um, I like to knit this way so that the working yarn is on the left and so I just insert here and then I tuck it under like that and for purl I just bring this forward I go inside and then I just I just flick this down so that it's purled there and go through like that and so this way is it's a lot quicker than wrapping it around a lot if that makes sense I don't know what this one is called um, somebody, oh gosh, you know, it's really hard to do on camera because my knitting needles are like hitting, hitting here. So I can't really, it's not going by very fast, but I think you can see why it's faster because you're not, but I used to knit the other way until a friend showed me to do it this way. And yeah, it goes by really fast, especially at night when I'm watching something on TV or listening to an audiobook. I don't, I don't, I actually don't really watch that much TV um, because I don't really like that much stuff that's on TV these days. Although I do watch a lot of um, like Marvel, Marvel TV shows and oh, one TV show that I've been watching is Ted Lasso. Has, have any of you started watching that? I, I actually really like it. Um, I didn't think that I would, but I really enjoyed it. And so yeah, so let me know what your knitting style is. Is it the way I do it or is this the first way that I showed you? And I am not an avid knitter, so please don't judge the way I hold my needles and things like that, but that's just how I do it. And yeah, I'll give you a progress update on how this goes. Very, very happy with this yarn. And um, yeah, when it's all ready to go, I'll definitely write it out and give it to my friends at Hobium. And I hope that this little update was nice and that you were, if you were interested in this yarn, I hope this helps you see it up close. Cause I know sometimes when you're purchasing yarn online, you can't really tell what you're getting unless you have a 
you know, a friend who's used it before. And so, yeah, I have to say this yarn is very, very soft. It's not scratchy. It's very soft and it's very nice. So if you're looking for something for the winter seasons, I think this this is quite nice. If you're making hats and scarves, jumpers, um, I'm trying to think what else. Like, I think big fluffy socks would be really cute with this too. I've never actually knitted socks, but or slippers, things like that. I really love it. I think this would look nice as a baby blanket too. So I'm kind of like itching to knit these days instead of hook. So yeah, I hope you'll stick around and I'll give you an update. Uh, thank you so much for watching this short video. If you liked it, press the like button and consider subscribing. And head over to hobiumyarns.com to check out their selection of yarns. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.